Hello and welcome to this video on Chapter 8. My name is Dr. Fred Sutton. In this video, I'll be presenting problem 8-39 on page 333. You're welcome to open up your textbooks and follow along as I read through the problem. I have not put anything up here just yet because it's pretty simple. We're just going to walk through real quick. It's a pretty uh, simple problem. All right. So on page 333, uh, so take a look at 8-39, target costing return on sales. So that's our focus is return on sales here. So Stacy, the president of Kinder Morning Inc. and a plants manufacturer in Seattle, Washington, has been trying to decide whether one of her product line managers, Bill Mann, has been achieving the company-wide return on sales target of 45%. All right, so we're gonna try to figure out if he's meeting that 45% goal. Stacy has just received data from the new target costing system regarding Bill's operation. Bill's sales volume is 300,000 appliances with an average selling price of $500 and expenses totally 90 million. All right, so what we're gonna do here is figure out what the sales are. So first thing is we take a look at the sales. So the sales he had was 300,000 units times 500. So we have 300,000 units here times the cost of each of those. That will give us how much and we have in sales looks like hundred and fifty million dollars in sales. So we have hundred fifty million. Now let's take a look at the expenses. So we're going to take away expenses here. So less expenses. So we're going to take away the expenses there. Now remember how to figure this out. We figured out that he had, uh, they gave us 90, 90 million in expenses here. So we're going to take that away. Figure that out. We have a 60,000, 60 million, excuse me. 60 million that they have in the profit margin. Now, that part of profit margin is also how we could look at it is our return on sales. That's what we're going to take a look at here. So, to figure out that, so we're going to have our return on sales. I will take that 60 million and divide that by the 150 million in sales that I have. That will give me the percentage for my ROS, return on sales, and that equals 40%. So does that meet the 45 expected? Well, it doesn't look like he's met the 45 that was expected there. So some of the things that I would look at as a company then is, is if I'm uh, the manager Stacy, I would take a look and see, okay, what does he have control of? Uh, does he have control of certain things on the, uh, the aspects of the, uh, the producing these, these appliances? Does he have control of the cost? Those are some of the things that I would look at there. But he has not met the goal of 40% or 45%. He's only done 40%. So those are some of the things I look at as a company is, what, what can he control, and if he can't control of it, why are these numbers where they are? And they're not at the expected rate that they should be. So maybe the price, the price per unit needs to be a little higher if he can't control those prices. Maybe there's a way that they can raise those prices so that way they're making a return on sales of what they expect as a part of the company. I'm Dr. Fred Sutton, and this is Chapter 8 Problem. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, and take care.